Hello my loves, it's Murphy. Uh, this is my August, no, yeah, August thrift. So the first thing I got was this light cardigan from Maurice came from the thrift but it's originally from Maurice and what I like about it is it has this real cool like braided design on the back and on the arms and it's very like burnout lightweight so it's a good summer early fall piece and it was $2.50 then the next things I found um, was I only wanted it for like I guess this tooth and the old key I'm not really sure what this is to tell you the truth but uh it's some sort of necklace I guess I really don't know but I just wanted it for like the tooth and the vintage looking key I like vintage keys and skeleton keys like this so I think this was only like 25 cent uh, then the next thing <laughs> was in my lap and I was looking for it in the bag sorry about that my phone decided to tell me that the battery is low uh, okay yeah these are pretty much just glue on rhinestones I guess you'd call them um, I use them for like my crocheted flowers and stuff like that. I am trying to figure out how to set up something so where I can do a crochet along. I'm working on it. Um, it, that was just 25 cent too. And then I found this purse, which is kind of like a denim look, but it's like a fake leather and it's a crossbody. I like crossbodies a whole lot better than like handbags. It's just I can put it on and put it around here and then it's fine. And the longer the strap, the better for me. I like that it has a pocket in front. It's usually where I put my keys. And it's got one big zip up top. The inside is really good in good, good worn condition, I guess. it's There's no holes or anything. And I paid three bucks for it. Then the next thing I found if I can figure out which way it is it's by Rue 21 it's this really flowy white um, crocheted or knitted but it's really light and sheer if I can do this yeah you can see through it so it's very light and you know late summer when it's starting to kind of get cool I can throw this on over top of Cami and away I go uh, then the next one I found I thought were really cute because I kind of have like the top pair and it's by um, oh that was $2.50 um, this one is by Liz Claiborne and I have the round ones right here in sunglasses and then the cat eyes in the middle I have those in actual like glasses you've seen them if you watched most of my videos and those round ones I have that look like little round hippie Aussie specs and it's a really fitted t-shirt very cute very funky I don't know what would you call it hipster I, I don't know my style is all over nowadays I wear mostly comfy clothes I only got two looks put together and hobo like yeah that's about it uh, it was 250 as well then the next item I found is another top it's a very long top and it's from a brand I've never heard of so if you've heard of this brand let me know down below uh, it's it's by a brand called Kim and Cami and it's a really long kind of dark gray I guess yeah dark gray gunmetal gray uh, long sleeve kind of uh, it's got a bit of a slouch like dolman sleeve and then it kind of crisscrosses at the bottom 
and I really like that. It is a bit oversized, kind of slouchy, but it's a very comfortable cotton material, and I paid $2.50. Then the next one is a small little summer cardigan from Wet Seal. Very cute, kind of chevron crocheted lace. And it's, it's not the itchy kind of lace, you know what I mean? Um, I paid $2.50 for it as well. Then the last thing in this bag, which I'm only going to hold up one, but I got both of them is a pair of Massimo little sneakers in like gray. I have a pair of cons that are black. Um, I like the low sneaker, not like the high tops, but I do like a high top and a um, con, converse. These remind me of something like Vans, similar to that, or Keds. And I found them in gray, which that's surprising because usually they just have like weird, weird colors that don't match anything. And I paid $3.50. That's it for this bag. So on to the next before my battery runs out. And man, is this one a big bag. It's full of a little bit of everything. Okay, so the first thing I found was this little wallet. Walmart was selling these. I, I feel like that's where this came from. Somebody had it, bought it from Walmart, I guess. I only paid a dollar fifty. It's in really good shape. It's a, it's a fake leather and it's very like Southwestern. Reminds me of kind of like desert, Arizona, around in that area. And it'll match the handbag or crossbody that I have at the moment. So that's pretty good. So dollar fifty and then I found this one I think it's from Dolce & Gabbana I mean this is the little emblem or symbol on the zip but it says getting my glam on I figure I can put some uh, lady time of the month items in it since it's really small and it would just fit real well in my purse I think I found oh I think it was um it's a dollar fifty. I don't know where my brain is tonight. I don't know. Anyway, okay. And then the last one is a relic. It is another crossbody. It's got a pouch in the front. It looks pretty much brand new. I don't know if it actually is, but the interior looks like it's never, never been used at all. And I paid two fifty. Then I found some cut off denims, Daisy Dukes. If you want to find cheaper denim cut offs, go to a thrift store. These were only $2.50, $2 cent. when going to a retail you're paying $20, $30 for a pair of denims that are shredded like this. Get you could you a pair of denims from the thrift and cut them up and you can make you a pair of of daisies that's what that's what these pretty much were because it says regular standard but they're from old navy but i mean still a lot cheaper uh the next thing i found <laughs> i thought it was a really neat looking but it's this leopard print do you remember my lever print shower curtain I used to have behind me in my videos? These are drapes. Um, and it's from a brand called Living Doll. I've, I don't think I've ever heard of it. I'm not sure. And uh, it comes down quite far and kind of flowy. And I paid $2.50 for it. Then I found another pair of kind of like ball shorts or workout shorts. And they're by Champion, I guess, and they were two fifty. And then I found some. These are pajama pants. They're plaid. I really like them, and they got a cute little pocket back here on the tissue. And they're from Old Navy. Really comfortable. I, when I put these on, I didn't want to take them off, but you know, somebody else had wore them before me, so I had to take them off. Um. 
and I paid two fifty. Then the next thing I found is another top. It's from Mossimo. It has a hole in it. I just noticed the hole in it. I don't care. I'm still going to keep it. And it's got a really big pocket and it kind of has some shimmer to it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not. And it was $2.50. Then I found a, another cardigan because girl loves cardigans. And this one's from Old Navy. And it's got a 3-4 sleeve, very soft material, and it buttons down. Usually I like the ones that are open. And it was $2.50. I've got a lot of Old Navy in this haul. Uh, then the next two items I'll just quickly show. Uh, the first one is this muscle tee, I guess. And it's from Victoria's Secret Pink. And it was $2.50. And then in the next rack of clothes, I find this one. And it's got these really cute hearts and some of them are bedazzled, I guess. And it was $2. That's a bit odd that they priced one higher than the other. Then I found this cherry Coke, you know, vintage -y shirt. It's a fitted, like, baby doll tee, I guess is what they would call them. And it's licensed and it was $2.50. I found this tank right here, if I can figure out. Uh, yeah, it's by L, And this is really interesting. Just, it's a little bit out of my color wheel. But I really like it and it's very soft material. And I'm trying to kind of get out of my color wheel a little bit. Wear some more brighter clothes so I don't look like the undead all the time. Um, and it was $2.50. Most of the things in my local thrift are going to be priced around $2.50 and $2 for a top. Then I found probably my favorite item. I have a lot of favorites in this, but this one is definitely like one of my faves that I found. I love it if I can get it situated. It's from California Gypsy. And it's this really cute, bright, floral kimono like I'm not even doing it justice like holding it up but I love this thing like I love a lot of kimonos because I'm a little self-conscious about my arms at the moment I don't know like I'll pick a body part and then I'll just not like it for a couple for a while but I just I don't know um so I like to cover up my arms even though it can be blazing hot I'm still going to put a cardigan on but it was 350 and it is beautiful. I can't wait to style that with something. Things uh, today while I was out and about before the rain hit. Now the sun is trying to come out and it's well after 7.30 here I guess. Sorry I'm right on the bag. It's in this black bag. Um, so the first thing I found which is a sports bra. It's kind of like watercolored purple. Very nice. Um, it's from Champion. And uh, it was $1.50, if you can see that. Then the next thing I found is a black top. It's kind of like a three-fourth like dolman sleeve. It's got this really nice lace kind of see-through. I don't know if you can like see that and it's a bit oversized and flowy and it's from a brand called Hannah never heard of it and it was $2.50 then the next thing I found is a phone case I don't think this is real coach but it's a coach phone case. This is made in China and I paid 50 cents. It has a bit of like a broken piece up here, but once it's on the phone, like you can't tell that it's broken. So I'm sorry, like my face always itches when I film videos. It doesn't itch any other time. Just 
when I film videos. But yeah, um, I think that was a pretty good deal. I had seen it and thought about it and I was like, well, um, if it's there when I come back in, I will get it. It also has this little pocket, I guess, for cards or money if you just want to take the, the phone with you. Um, I like it. It fits my phone. 50 cent for that. And then I found this little bottle of Bath and Body Works. It's like a sample bottle. I just, I wanted the bottle for something. I got to put my vitamin E oil in it that I use on my lobes. Um, and it's the White Citrus. It is shampoo, believe it or not. I did not know that Bath and Body Works made shampoo. Uh, I don't know. Um, it does have like a a nice kind of smell like it smells more like a lemon like a rind of a lemon or an orange I guess citrus it would be like some sort of like fruit and there's probably more than half a bottle left I just I just needed the bottle but I may like wash a wig or something in it just so I don't like pour it down the tube I think it was 25 cent and then the next one is a little toned down from my color wheel because I do like pink and white and gray. Um, I found this top originally from Air Postal and it's plaid. I like a little plaid every now and again. It's a long sleeve and then like the whole front is like this nice plaid color and then the back is a very nice kind of florally paisley print. Medalla print, I guess. Very nice. And it's long, and so I can wear it with leggings and boots. Or, I don't know, maybe turn it into a dress eventually, because I do want to try that pin. And I paid $250. And it was Aeropostale, I believe I said that. Okay, then the next item I didn't buy for me, I bought for my fiance. And it is, uh, I believe it was three years ago, we went to Florida. And it was the first time I had ever went to Disney World in, like, my whole life. And I wanted to get shirts there, but I couldn't find one that I thought he might like. And I found this big Mickey shirt. It's blue, it's cute, it's very, like, comfortable. And it's licensed Disney. Very cute. But I really like how it's, I don't know, it looks, it looks like it's been loved a lot. But that's pretty much the style of it. He's faded, you know, kind of vintage. And it was marked, marked down. So I probably paid about a dollar for it. Then I think this is the last thing in my bag in the thrift. And it is this huge huge scarf if I can get it situated and it's from Stella and Dot never heard of it but it is huge like I'm not even holding it out like it's covering the whole screen but it's one of those scarves that you can like turn into like a dress or like a flowy kimono thing or a cover up like you can do so much with it because it's that like it's see if I can demonstrate a little like it is like here's oh it's got this pretty like uh, royal blue on it and I love flowers I love floral print and you can just keep on wrapping like look at that does that not look comfortable <laughs> no it looks like I'm trying to choke myself but anyway I mean this thing is huge if all else I could take it with me somewhere if I get cold, I can put it on as a blanket or make me a dress out of it or something with a cute belt. Probably make me a dress or a swimsuit cover up or something. And I only paid like a buck for this, I believe, a dollar. I don't know why they call American money like buck. Like it was two bucks. Three bucks. Like it don't have deer on it. I don't know. And I only paid a dollar. So that was all of my thrift haul uh, for August. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Go thrifting. And I will see you all next time. Bye.